Welcome to New World Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about percents of increase and decrease. Let's get started. Today's lesson is all about percent of change. And basically, instead of saying that something increased by $100, the price of something increased by $100, or the price of something decreased by $100, instead of saying the amount that it increased or decreased as a, as a price or something, we're changing that into a percent, saying something like, well, the price of that new iPhone increased by 20%, or the price of that used iPhone decreased by 20%. All we're doing is changing it from amount of increases or decreases to a percent that it increases or decreases, right? So sometimes this will be a percent of increase if the, the new amount is more than the original. Sometimes it will be a percent of decrease if the amount is less than the original. So percent of change is pretty simple. All you do is look at the amount of change. divided by the original. Amount. And again, just use some logic. If the new amount is more than the original amount, well, then you've got an increase, a percent increase. If the new amount is less than the original amount, well, then it decrease, right? You have a percent decrease. Let's try our first example. Here's example one. What is your percent of change in your time online from Saturday to Sunday? So here's a little table. On Saturday, we spent two hours online, surfing the net. On Sunday, four and a half hours online. Okay. So what is that percent of change? Well, if we remember, percent of change is just the amount of change over original amount. And then we're going to make that into a percent. So What's the amount of change? How much did it change? Well, we started, we're going from Saturday to Sunday. Saturday it was two hours. Sunday it was four and a half. So how much did it change? Well, it increased. So we know this is going to be a percent increase. It increased by two and a half hours. So that 2.5 goes in my numerator. In the denominator, what's my original amount? Well, where did I start? I'm starting from Saturday. That's my original. So I'm going. 2.5 over 2. Okay. Um, now, this doesn't look like a percent, right? So let's get to a percent. So first, I'm going to do that division. I'm going to do 2.5 divided by 2. 2.5 divided by 2. Well, that goes in 1. Get 0, bring down the 5. There's my decimal. 2 into 5 is 2. That's 4. Subtract, I get 1. Add a 0, bring it down. 2 into 10 is 5. So I get 1.25. Again, that does not look like a percent either. How do we change decimals to percents? Hopefully you remember, well, we just moved the decimal point twice to the right, which means that becomes 125%. Now, I'm not quite done because 125%, that's half of it. I got to remember, is this 125% increase or 125% decrease in change? Well, we remember that from Saturday to Sunday, we increased. So that is 125% increase, increase of hours online. Okay. Now, you might also be looking at this and think, well, did I have to divide it like that? Couldn't I have just maybe made this over 100? And yeah, you could. If you notice that, great. So remember, if we have a fraction, if we can somehow get the denominator to 100, then it's really easy to change to a percent. So if I multiply the numerator and denominator by 50, I could also, that becomes 100. 2.5 times 50, well, 2 times 50 is 100. Half 0.5 times 50 is 25, so that's 125. 125 over 100, 125 per 100. 125%. Here's some to try on your own.
All right, example two. What was the percent of change in home runs from 2012 to 2013? So let's look at the table over here. You can notice uh, in 2012, there were 28 home runs. In 2013, there were only 20. So right off the bat, you should realize that this is going to be a percent decrease, right? Well, how much did it decrease by? What was the amount of change from 28 home runs to 20? Well, that change was 8. It decreased by 8 home runs. Uh, what was the original amount? Well, we're starting in 2012. So in 2012, there were 28 home runs. So 8 over 28. Uh, now we just need to convert that to a percent. And if you notice here, it says round to the nearest tenth of a percent. If In case we get decimals that keep going, we can round to the nearest tenth of a percent. Now, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to simplify this before I start to do my long division. 4 is a common factor of 8 and 28. So that would become 2, and that becomes 7. So now i got to convert 2 sevenths into a percent. And to do that, first step is to change it to a decimal. So I'm going to do some long division. I'm going to get 2 divided by 7. Well, 7 into 2 goes 0 times, so I'm going to add my decimal at a 0. 7 into 20 goes twice, that's 14. Subtract, I get 6 at a 0. 7 into 60 goes 8 times, that's 56. Subtract, I get 4 at another 0. 7 into 40, 5 times, that's 35. Subtract, I get 5. Now remember, I can round to the nearest tenth of a percent. When I change this decimal to a percent, I'm moving the decimal point twice to the right. So I'm not quite far enough because I don't know if this 5 needs to stay a 5 or round up to a 6. So I need one more, one more uh, number here before I'm able to stop. Um, so add one more 0, bring it down. 7 into 50, 7 times. Okay, that's 49. And I can stop there because I can round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So uh, 0 0.2857 as a percent. I'll just rewrite that. 0 0.2857 as a percent. All I need to do is move the decimal point twice to the right, which would give, excuse me, give me 28. 0.57%, but we want to round to the nearest tenth of a percent, which is right here. So am I rounding up or is it staying at a 5? Well, 7 is greater than 5, so that becomes 28.6%. And last, last step, is this a percent increase or decrease? And remember, 2012 was 28 home runs, 2013 was 20, it decreased. So that is my final answer, 28.6% decrease in home runs from 2012 to 2013. Let's try one more example. Here's our last example. You estimate that the length of the classroom is 16 feet. The actual length is 21 feet. Find the percent error. Well, we haven't talked about percent error, so let's first mention what that is, right? Percent error. Uh, percent error is basically, well, kind of what percent are you off by on your estimates, right? So percent error is just the amount of your error. How much are you off by amount of error over the actual amount okay so the amount of the error that's just saying well how much is your how much off is your estimate right this is always going to be positive you're never going to have a negative percent error sometimes your estimate estimate might be too low sometimes it might be too high it doesn't matter um, that's always going to be a positive number so amount of the error over the actual amount um, and then we write that as a per percent, just like we do for percent increase or decrease. So let's figure this out. Um, my estimate, or your estimate, was 16 feet. The actual length is 21. Well, 
how much was our error? How how much how far off were we? Well, from 16 to 21, we were five feet off, right? That was our error. So five is our error. The actual amount, the actual length was 21. So there's our fraction. Now we just need to convert that into a, a decimal and then a percent from there. So let's do our long division. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do it over here. Five divided by 21. Well, that goes zero times. I'm going to add a zero, my decimal. 21 into 50 goes twice. That's 42. Subtract, I get 8. Uh, add another zero, bring it down. 21 into 80 goes three times. 63. Subtract, I get 17. Again, I'm not done. Add another zero, 21 into 170. Let's see, that's going to go six, seven, eight. Not quite, yeah, eight times. That's 168. Subtract, I get two. Add another zero. And I'm going to do the same thing here that I did on the last example. We're going to round to the nearest tenth uh, of a percent because we don't need to keep going on forever. Um, so lastly, 21 into 20, well, that goes zero times. And if we look at my decimal, is that far enough to be able to round to the nearest tenth of a percent? Yes, because I'm going to move it twice to the right. There's the tenth place. So I already know that I'm not going to have to, to round that up. That's just going to stay in eight. So final answer. I'm going, to, I'm going to put that just because it's approximately, because we rounded. I should have done that before, but oh well. Uh, it's approximately 23.8%. Okay. We don't need to say increase or decrease. That's just the percent error. I'm 23.8% off for my estimate. Okay. Final answer. Here's some to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.